Michael, thank you so very much uh, for your time and for this um, gloriously immersive experience that you are a part of in creating. Uh, I can't think of a filmmaker whose head I want to crack open and stare into more than <laughs> thank you, Mose. Uh, you were a, a sense of emotion when you finished reading this um, incredibly unique script I want to get a sense of. Oh, I just I was just excited to, 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 do, to start working on it, to do it. I mean, um, I, I really enjoyed uh, the character of Strickland. Um, he seemed very uh, demented and strange to me, and I, I like I like characters like that. Yeah. There was a extraordinary menacing nature to him that I, was terrifying, and I guess was was meant to be. But there was also a, I found rightly or wrongly a very broken, raw sadness to him that. Um, upset me quite a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. What were his demons, in your view? Well, I think he's kind of a lonely guy, you know. I mean, he has a family, and but I, I feel like he do, he he doesn't feel attached to them. Um, I think he's very anxious, and and I think he's he's disappointed a lot. That um, because he feels like he's doing all the right things, um, and yet they're not satisfying him. His life isn't satisfying him, so he's uh, confused. Yeah. The perception of who and what is a monster uh, was also something that I kind of spent a lot of my noodle time thinking about. Yeah, 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 definitely. Well. Yeah, I guess it's the, that's the central struggle for him is, you know, is this creature the monster or, or am I a monster, you know? Because uh, that's a, a question that we have to ask ourselves a, a lot, particularly nowadays in the current uh, climate, you know, in terms of so sociological situations yeah um we chatted a, i chatted a little bit about that with octavia we take a film that's set 50 years ago in in america uh, a lot of it felt really fresh and real and as relevant as it as it was at that time yeah uh which i guess is, is a lot of part of it why it connects um with the love stories because there were there were so many delicious love stories in this um i felt that you, your character Strickland was also very drawn to Eliza, and I'm wondering if you agree, and if so, what was he drawn to? Well, he alludes to it in the movie. I think, I think something about the, the delicate nature of who she is, and something about, he, he really is looking for, he talks about in the movie, about a, a quiet or a sense of peace. Um, and I think he maybe imagines that if, if he could be a different person, if, if, you know, he's trying to escape, just like a lot of people are, trying to escape his own situation. And she's a part of, she could potentially be part of doing that. Uh a sense, uh, in closing from you, working on a, a film set, I've spoken uh, both to Doug and, and Richard about that they've felt such a sense of collaboration working with Guillermo and I wanted to get um, your experience of, of making the film with him. Yeah, yeah, Guillermo is very uh, welcoming, you know. Um, he's a very warm person, uh, particularly when things are clicking along, going well. Uh, He's very grateful, you know, if, if, if you're making a contribution because uh, the, this, these films mean the world to him, you know. Um, it's, it's his devotion in life. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a great guy to go see every day, you know.